within really just a few weeks of um, being there, uh, presented on my desk for my review and approval was a revision of our copyright policy that they had obviously been working on for the last uh, several months, I gather. And I took a look at it and I had done, as you know, some, some work previously in my previous position with uh, um, an explication of the code and its meaning and, and, and teaching people about um, how to apply it. And I, I took a look at this policy and it, and it seemed uh, to be at several le levels um, not at all applied to the kinds of new principles that I knew we were trying to enunciate and the principles we were trying to pursue. Um, so um, I drew upon that experience uh, from my previous position and uh, contacted all of you and uh, gracious enough to, to come and help us essentially do what I think of as sort of the, the second generation of the code work which is basically to take this wonderful theoretical framework and principles and begin to actually apply it to put it in action in, in policy. And I really think that this sense of liberation was really a reflection of the fact that we have all labored under these assumptions, if you will, and these pretexts about how to apply fair use that we've all known from the very beginning were rather artificial, didn't really apply fair use very well, and required us to be sort of uh, not particularly good at enforcing uh, policies and procedures that we knew weren't really reflective of the principles we were trying to enforce anyway. And so I think it was um, there was a real sense of a relief that where we were finally able to take the principles that we believed in and be able to apply them in a policy was something that I think was uh, a really a relief for everyone and a, a real uh, joy to be able to, to work in and apply. The legal context in which it, uh, it presents itself um, the foundations it has really, we found, went a great, a long, long way towards working with legal counsel who are in essential partners in, in developing an application, really carried a lot of weight with them in terms of knowing that the, the, the applications and the, um, the risk that, that is being uh, talked about on the part of the university was, uh, was well based and well grounded and uh, pleased to say that uh, as a result of the discussion uh, with everyone involved, um, we were able to take the, the, the principles that were outlined in the code and the concepts, and this is I think a great thing about them, about the code and how it's written, is it's, it's a really nice um, theoretical orientation or context that you're then able to take and apply it to a campus situation in very real terms. And for us, that worked extremely well. So we had all that, that context of theory and context and, and legal background and precedent and being able to put into application on campus with legal counsel pre present and participating uh, was extremely helpful and, and made it work. Mm -hmm.